Hey guys, welcome to Eric the Raider channel where I review products for the common man. Today I'm going to be reviewing a product from Training Mass, the company. But before I do that, I ask you guys to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to turn on your notification and hit that like button for the products that I've reviewed. Okay guys, um, the product is from Training Mass, a vent filtration trainer. Um, this is it pretty much. I bought it back in April of this year for $79. A starter bundle, it came with uh, the, the mask, it came with um, 10 packs of fil filters, a 10 pack filter, uh, a spray cleaner, and and the case to carry it. Uh, pretty much, um, it, it's, it's pretty much training mask been around for a long time, but this, this one is somewhat different. Um, usually the training masks have three, three, um, circles where you could change it out, which restricts your breathing to a certain level. I think it comes with like three different sets are you go up, you have to take it off, switch out the three of them and to see how, uh, how much you want to restrict your breathing during training. This one works kind of differently. You just simply turn this device, which, whichever direction, if you want to open flow or you want to restrict your breathing a little bit or, or a lot. Along along with the easy lever to, to switch it at any given point, um, you could use it pretty much without the filtration in it or you could add filtration in it by simply opening this, open up this gate and put in one of these uh, filters and and close it up i will make sure it's set properly pretty much you only go you, you only could put it in one way pretty much and you close it up all right um they said pretty much it it, it filters out uh, pollutants and and allergens once when you're breathing in obviously it, it 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 filters in stuff that's coming into your lungs you have these re relief valves that closes up when you're breathing in so you, you're only coming to this side once you breathe out these valves release and of course air goes out air goes out on this side also but you have air going out when you exhale but once you're breathing in this locks in and you only have airflow on this side and then you could restrict it by turning this whichever direction. Let me take this off and, and you can see how it opens and closes these vents. See the vents, it opens and closes it. You could close it all the way or you could leave it open. They say you could operate it three different levels if you want. You could operate it like this without the vent, all the way close if you want intense training, or you could operate it all the way open without the filtration with with um with just uh breathing it still gives a little bit of restriction but you're able to breathe better with it with it all the way open or both ways with the filtration when i bought it it came with uh this gray gray face plate and it came it came with this and of course you have the head strap which i chose to keep the head strap on it because it seemed to slip come slip off my face when I'm doing burpees or something like that. Um, I end up going back and getting this. I think it was like $11 or something like that. Where it more, where it more streamlined with the black, black covering. Um, so with the bounder pack, it came with this. If you go to the website, it shows like a blue or something like that. But that's when it came, it came with this black one. I originally bought this um, because I wanted it. I was training for marathon and I wanted to continue that training when the um, COVID incident hit and I wanted to continue running and I wanted something to protect my face and protect my lungs and stuff like that. Um, I later on kind of like found out um, that it's protecting. Yes, it protects once you have the filter in it protects any incoming pollutants, right? But when you're exhaling, this lifts up and you're exhaling 
what you got you know so it protects you what you protects you from people but it doesn't protect people from you i i, I that, that's how i got out of this um so i do use it still but i use it when i'm working out at my uh my garage and that's about it i don't i don't run with it anymore i usually i'll just put on a regular um face mask when i run um but i do use it when i'm at home or something like that until this uh pandemic stops then i'll probably run with it outside but for now i use it inside um pretty much it, it holds up so far as far as moisture i sweat a lot so this thing gets soaking wet that's that's another reason i don't even bother using it outside i, I sweat a lot so whenever i use it i don't even use the the filter anymore because of that reason it's just, um, I show a lot of people I see use it. They don't have this um, head strap, but I end up using it head the head strap because it tends to stay on my uh, face a little bit better when I have it on. Right, so I end up I choose to keep it on when I'm working out all the movements um, I'm doing, so it doesn't fall off my face. I've used it without the head strap, and it ended up on my neck. Um, so I use it with a head mask. Uh, pretty much I would rate this at, at a four, four and a half star. Um, the reason why I gave it a half a star less, th this is the problem I have right here. This thing, when I used, when I ran outside with it, right? If you notice, it's hard, it's like kind of hard to go on, right? And sometimes, I, I sometimes have a mile into it, I want to get this thing off my face. I want to adjust it on my face. You know, you run in and I try to adjust it on my face, this pops off, right? It comes off so easy and it's hard to get back on during your activity, you know? Your 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 heart is going, you can't breathe and you're trying to get this thing back on. It comes off so easy. Just you adjusting it on your face, it, it pops off. Then what, you know? You can still operate without this on, but Sometimes you want to get it back on during during your exercise. You have to stop and probably take it off. You know, all your dexterity is gone. Your hand is shaking because you're doing like 100 burpees or something. It's hard to get. I can't even get this thing back on now. That's why it's getting a half off for the star because of this. I don't know. They need to redesign this thing. Other than that, it's held up. It's held up good. Um, the cleaning supply that I got with it, I've used it. It's good. Um, as far as... Um, the filtration, I mean, I ordered an extra pack of 10 for $14, um, but know that it's, if you're, if you're, if you sweat a lot, it's, it's all the sweat drains into this thing and this thing, it doesn't say in the website if you're able to wash it and reuse it. So I've done it before, but it doesn't look so good after you wash it and, and try to dry it. Um, but it does get saturated with sweat a lot. So I, I don't know if that's so good. So, but it's it's a good training tool. It's just an additional training, or uh, if you want to up your, you know, if you want to go beast mode on your training, it's a very good training tool in regards to that. It 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 stays on my face. Um, it it's, it it does its job. Um, so I'll give it a four and a half star for this. Uh, I think it's a good device. Until next time, guys. Thank you for watching, and have a blessed day.